What's going on YouTube, Hannah Beck making another brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's video, we will be discussing uh, not only the potential for a new Litecoin run to happen, you know, will it be a surprising and, you know, extravagant, really, really, really strenuous, you know, bull run potentially or run of some sort. Uh, we will also be looking at Litecoin, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum and Tron to BTC. I know a couple of people wanted me to discuss that. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up if you like the content and want to see more like this furthermore um hopefully you guys saw uh yesterday's video if you did not there will be a link in the description but basically what i'm referring to is a company called cloud nine exotics i made a video going there we actually partnered with them uh litecoin foundation i especially uh went to them and we actually partnered with them and branded with them so basically they're now accepting litecoin and bitcoin as payment to rent fancy freaking cars as you guys can see this is one of the cars that they have this is their website cloud9exotics.com that will also be in the description it's an awesome place so if you're anywhere in long island new jersey connecticut massachusetts pennsylvania anywhere in that general region they can ship the cars out to you and you can rent exotic luxury sports cars so it's absolutely crazy obviously you can see right here the cars that are flashing on here in bows and stuff but you can see our fleet if you click on that you can see all these freaking cars bentley's uh i8s aston martin's chevy uh corvette ferraris uh da -da -da -da, jeep wrangler lamborghini all of the sorts so if you want to rent one of these you know you can see all these there's a new one coming soon that uh they have yet to release you have rolls royces if you want to rent one of these cars and use them for the weekend or for the day or whatever it is don't hesitate to give them a call it's as you can see up here 1-800-673-9900 and make sure to mention uh that you know that you heard it from me crypto tv and that um they accept litecoin and bitcoin make sure to mention that this way they know that we sent you guys and that you know they're partnering with us did not go wasted so definitely check them out it's an awesome company definitely recommend looking it up we're also going to be discussing a potential uh bull run for bitcoin uh in 2019 a new bull cycle similar to the litecoin conversation that we're going to start in today's episode so definitely we're going to be discussing that too later on but furthermore let's just jump into today's episode So we're on the current coin market cap. And as you guys can see, we have a market cap of $122.4 billion. Uh, Bitcoin dominance 52.5, 24 hour volume 16.4. So what that tells me is not only is the Bitcoin dominance slightly higher than yesterday, if not, you know, even uh, is that, you know, it's consolidating. Bitcoin is consolidating. We're really not seeing much movement at all within that. We are seeing a lower uh, 24 hour volume and we're seeing a market cap that's pretty low too. So the market is in a downtrend. Yesterday, we did see a nice, uh, you know, plummet. We did or a nice uh, run, you know, to the upside, basically back where we started from. As you guys can see here on the 24-hour price graph, or sorry, the seven-day price graph, you can see how we had this dip yesterday, and then we consolidated back up to practically where we saw. So it's pretty much just a pothole in the road, and now we're back level with the surface. You can see here all the coins are downward. We are having a red day, unfortunately. Uh, there are some green coins, but for the most part, we're down around three percent all in all. Uh, you can see Bitcoin is 36 you know again below 4,000 xrp 32 cents da, 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 da. we have litecoin you know number eight 1.9 billion market cap 32 dollars down 0.36 percent you know if you guys do want to make money in this bear market uh, or this accumulation phase that i like to call it there is an app that a lot of you guys have been downloading and signing up for and i do appreciate that my referral code is in the description basically it is a way for you guys to to get free bitcoin and i don't know who doesn't like free bitcoin you get 25 dollars of bitcoin for depositing five dollars worth of us dollars when you hook up your bank account it's that simple there's no tricks there's no fees there's no hidden anything it's that simple sign up deposit five dollars bam in the next week you will receive 25 dollars worth of bitcoin deposited in your account it's, it's absolutely awesome take advantage of it it's going away i think at the end of this month or next month so you don't have really that long so do take advantage of it otherwise let's jump into today's episode so as you guys can see uh we wanted to talk about an article basically could bitcoin initiate a new bull cycle by 2019 you know obviously if we do see 
Bitcoin move up at a significant level, we'll obviously see money trickle and volume trickle down into Litecoin, altcoins, XRP, Ethereum. Those will also be affected and skyrocket too. But basically in the last 24 hours, crypto market recovered by $4 billion as the Bitcoin price rebounded above 3,700. I know we're slightly below that now, but several major crypto assets in the likes of Ethereum and Tron, you know what you're going to talk about today, have recorded large gains on the day rising by more than 3% against Bitcoin. So that's trading Tron to BTC or trading, you know, LT. TC to BTC, similar. Uh, but basically, it says generally analysts in the cryptocurrency space expect the correction of the asset class to be extended throughout the first half of this year. Uh, since November 2017, Bitcoin has shown a lack of momentum, struggling to break out of key resistance, you know, around that $5,000 to $6,000 range. But history suggests recovery in the near future. So, still in the latter half of 2019, one crypto technic technical analyst with an online alias Galaxy said that based on the historical price movement of Bitcoin, the asset could demonstrate large gains in 10 to 12 months. Obviously, that's a year. But if you think about it in the long run compared to the S&P 500 and all those, that's really not a long time period to have your money invested. You think about all the people who have retired and or who, have, who are currently working who and have who have invested in 401ks and for their retirement, they're putting money away for 25 years. So to see a significant rise in crypto in one year or 10 months is huge. You know, you could make so much more money than that in 10 months from holding long term of crypto than you could saving 25 years worth of your of your uh, 401k or investments into your into your retirement. But basically, he says the future lies in the study of the past. We're approaching a 420 day mark, which ended the 2015 bear market. You know, and if history repeats itself, we're moving towards several months of accumulation and a new bull run cycle starting mid to late 2019. Obviously, well, you know, the channel will be growing. And if we do see a spike, so will we with our subscribers and a massive movement. Obviously, I'll be doing giveaways and such as we, you know, reach or near uh, 10,000 subs. I think we're at like 6,500 right now, which is pretty awesome. But basically, that's what I wanted to discuss. You know, there are people that are, you know, expecting... 2019 to have or some significant moves at least higher prices than we're seeing now you know even if we have an eight thousand dollar bitcoin that's double what we started off of and you know quadruple what it was two years ago but it says the crypto market is rarely affected by emerging events or news you know as we've seen rather the market primarily moves based on sentiment for bitcoin and other crypto assets to rebound and engage in an accumulation phase the market has become revitalized once again similar to the movement in 2017 of bitcoin some analysts see a boring year ahead for crypto assets assets in 2019, but are not dismissing the potential of digital assets experiencing an abrupt surge in value approaching the end of the year. Currently, the volume of Bitcoin remains high at $5.7 billion, and trading activity in the cryptocurrency market has increased by a relatively large margin, suggesting that bulls are demonstrating some resistance in a low price range. So to swing things over now and check out, you know, Litecoin charts, all the uh, technical analysts, uh, analytics, as I've discussed in yesterday's video, if you didn't catch that, a quick recap or if you're new to the channel, basically Litecoin is becoming more of a tool than it is uh, trading you know, against the prices, against the waves. Uh, it's becoming more of an adopted, sought after thing. The fact that you can now go into a retail store or that, that that sells products or you know in exchange for services and pay in cryptocurrency bitcoin and litecoin is massive the fact that you can now use this as an alternative cur currency is insane 10 years ago 20 years ago never would you have thought that you could rent a lamborghini or rent a rolls royce for a couple hundred dollars with cryptocurrency not only does that protect the merchant in fact that they're you know it's it's like trading cash you know, they will not lose it. It's it's a realistic thing. It gets converted into USD that second to the merchant. You know, there's no risk involved. There's no credit fraud. There's no chargebacks. It's huge. It's a huge alternative to, you know, small merchants and retail investors and institutions um, protecting themselves against fraudulent transactions and actually taking control of their money and finances. So it's a huge innovation. So just because the price of crypto did drop, the technology behind it is is crazy and it is growing whether you realize it or not. It is a sleeping giant and that's the main focal point that I want to get to in today's episode. So just because we're not seeing it reflected in the price, it may jump later on like it said Bitcoin was in 2019. And when we do have that surge, it will have so much more of a snowball effect than we've seen in the past. So 
jumping out on to cryptocurrency, you know, Litecoin definitely had an interesting move yesterday. We saw yesterday the price dip from around $32 down to $29, and then it corrected back up to $32, you know, nearing its high-low MMA. You can see there is some sort of support around the $30 level for Litecoin, and you can see, unfortunately, once again, it broke bearish and fell. Uh, but we are, you know, we did shoot up back up into the um the rsi we're about 50 right now that is potential to move and then we did fall actually to 34 so currently we're at 34 on the relative strength indicator we're bottomed out on the 30 uh for support we could go lower but we are pretty darn low in terms of the four hour charts moving now on to the daily you know there's no good buying opportunities i would say for litecoin at this current moment in time and i've said that in a couple of videos in the past you can see clearly we are trapped you know, within this channel right here, you can see we did shoot out. We were on this uptrend, but we did currently fall back into a channel that we've stuck with. So until we consolidate, you know, build some volume up, we're going to see us being trapped within this channel for a couple more days now. You can see all the volume, it kind of went away and you can see that we're just, you know, hanging out here. So I, I do want to pull up the volume real quick. As you can see right now with the volume on here, we're kind of flatlining out or slowly starting to flatline. Yes, we did have a spike in volume, but that was a sell off. Um, so I do think consolidation is definitely you know needed for Litecoin at this current moment. Moving on, Bitcoin, similar thing. It actually just recently you know pulled back uh, a couple hours ago. Actually, you know, yeah, a couple hours ago, if not right this second. By the time you guys see this video, um, it is. No volume that, you know, insisted on a dip. You can see previously it's just copying itself. Another dip. We did see a correction upwards due to the fact that we were extremely oversold. Bitcoin pulled back up, found support, and it's currently dipping once again. It'll probably either hit the oversold on its four hour and then pull up. Um, but within the next couple of days, we're probably going to see it start to retest its high low MMA, you know, this four hour, a uh, couple more times before we can see a break. Volume is quite low as well for Bitcoin. And then looking at it on four hour, it doesn't look too bad right now. Uh, it was very interesting to see that massive sell off, but it was, you know, anticipated. Uh, it is possible that we could dip to 3000. I don't think we are. I do think we're at a very uh, interesting level. You know, we can see there's truly not much movement right now within the past couple of weeks for bitcoin on its daily so i think a little more consult yeah we're actually pretty flatlined you can see right here there has been practically no movement even though on the short term on the four hour charts it was a lot of uh volume in reality on the daily there's no movement at all so i do think there is a potential for another move to happen i do think we're gonna trade sideways for quite a couple more weeks reason being is you know we're still below this downtrend like i've talked about and i think we're just going to trade out sideways until we can test this downtrend you can see where we're hanging out on as well you can see that this support at 3600 is a major support we've been hanging out here for quite some time now you can see volume is pretty much stagnant and i think we're going to consolidate out until we hit the downtrend then we could see a nice pop in the currency and the price similar you know ethereum more so, I do think it's going to correct quicker uh, due to the fact that it is about to become oversold. Not much I can really explain. You know, resistance at the high-low MMA, the green band on Ethereum's four-hour on Coinbase. But otherwise, I think it's going to consolidate out following, you know, Bitcoin. Lastly, Tron. The Tron is kind of doing its own thing, guys, right now. But we did notice that there was some support, some uptrend that it does seem to hold fairly well. You can see this uptrend is holding fairly nice. Uh, we have, you know, a bunch of confirmations here right there here's a second one practically and i think it's going to keep trading like that you can see where it found its resistance right up here at around i don't know that price point zero 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 nine zero one uh tron to btc i believe um and i think we're going to trade out uh consistently but slowly move up until we hit resistance at the top here and then we'll see some sort of move but you saw that mass in if massive injection into the price we did just become um more neutral uh we were overbought on tron's daily rsi but we did pull back in so it's gonna probably consolidate fall a little bit further in the next couple of days and then start to climb back up furthermore that's gonna sum up today's episode guys if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up if you like the content and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode peace